off his room. Anything? No. Oh, well, whatever. Ah, family picture. A mark. The little shit. This is such a stock image. <laughs> Ah, oh, finally. I can relate. Uh, how do I get behind his office? Holy shit, I cannot. Mark is having a tough time coping with Kenny's death. Hell, we all are. A father should never have to bury a son. But what else can we do? He doesn't listen, he doesn't want to talk to us. Dr. Vobak says he's become becoming violent and aggressive. And Lizzie, she tries to hide the pain with pills, spends day and night in bed. Maybe I should see the psychiatrist too. Uh, okay. I don't know how that's really relevant, but come on, where's the light in here? I don't see any zombie guys. Ah, oh, here. Ah, the man cave. Wait, this is a girl's room. The woman cave. It is. Yes, and what do you have here? A note? In memory of Kenneth. Your life was a blessing, your memory a treasure. You are loved beyond words and missed beyond measures. Oh, sad times for Kenny. That died. We don't know. Oh. He has the same computer again. There must be some shit on there. Like how to turn on the lights in this house, maybe. Boop. What was that? No. Okay, let's move on. Oh yeah, the secret room here. That's also very weird. Oh no. Again, no light switch in here. Damn. Mark's room. Trick or treat. Okay, I really hate automatic closing doors. So, Mark, the violent kid. Where is he hiding his gun? No. History class was boring as usual. Why do we even need to learn old crap? So, this weird kid today, I think she lives with her mom outside Dormont. Hmm. Me, Des, and Hayden spotted the new freak while playing football. Her name is Annika. Oh shit! He met the creepy mustache kid. What type of name is that, really? Anyway, the most amazing thing happened. Des dipped the ball in a puddle of mud and then threw it at the girl. Hit her right in the face. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> The weirdo ran away crying with mud all over her face. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Des had a great throw. I hope he gets that football scholarship. Four. Des is grounded for the week. <laughs> Apparently he forgot to close a drawer in the kitchen. 
Oh shit! Closing a... Forgetting to close a drawer in the kitchen and then... You get grounded for a week? What the fuck? Hayden is helping out his dad in the stall. That leaves me with no one to hang out with. I was so bored that I decided to follow the geek, Annika. She rides her bike through the woods. I guess she really lives outside town. I miss Kenny. Day 5. The gang was finally back together again. Hayden found a dad red and brought it to school. While I distracted Annika, Des and Hayden got her pay uh, backpack and stuffed the dad red inside. When she opened the backpack in class, she screamed like a child and started crying. I laughed so hard that I almost fell off my chair. <laughs> 6. Having 20 page reports to deliver tomorrow. Don't know where to start. Ugh! So, um, when we were sent to detention today for playing a stupid prank on the weirdo, me and Hayden will be alright, but Des, he'll be in huge trouble with his crazy father. Anyway, no video games for the next 10 days. Great. Sad face. 8. Des was acting strange today. I don't know what his father did to him this time, but the punishment must have been bad. He was wearing long sleeves on a hot day, hiding bruises again. It's all Annika's fault! 9. Hayden got into a fight with Bobby today. Poor Hayden didn't put up much of a fight. At lunch I threw a bowl of rice <laughs> over Annika's head. Everyone laughed at her. We're definitely the coolest kids in school. I really miss Kenny. Oh, poor Annika, what has she to do with all this? Annika always rides that stupid bike of hers. That thing is asking for a serious prank. Is this the same Annika? Mark was bullying her. Yes, Mark and his friends bullied Annika. And why is that gonna have to be a decision for me, I guess? Yeah, bullying is not cool. Especially if they're doing nothing wrong. Like throwing a ball of rice over the kid's head. That shit fucked up. I've seen this somewhere. Uh, I don't know. I've seen this somewhere. I have no idea if you have seen that somewhere. Oh, the secret room! Yes. Follow me. Oh, okay. fuck. Follow you where? Where are you? I don't know. Jeez. Are you in here? No. Well. Where the fuck are you? Hello? Annika? Oh, there you are. Holy shit, what are you doing here? Are you floating? No. Forgive or condemn? What are you asking here? Forgive or condemn? What? Where, where did he... Oh my god, where did she go? Creepy kid. Hello? Do I go down here? Annika! Hello! No! Fuck. Get back out of here. Oh! Fuck me! Yeah. You decide. decide what? You're not making sense.
And where do I decide? Andrea wanted Rosie to learn how to play the piano. She would have been a great pianist. Okay, what the fuck is going on in here? Why does everyone have to know what to be? Not me. Now decide. Forgive or condemn. What the fuck? Is he in the toilet? Oh my goodness. Okay, even though he was a bully, this is going maybe a little step too far. You can decide when you know everything. What the fuck? You want me to judge him? Find more clues about Mark's actions. Oh. Well, Mark looks like you really fucked up. Uh, more clues? Holy shit. Thought I've turned this entire house upside down already. Oh, there she is. Follow me. Okay, okay, I am, but you just keep disappearing! Holy shit! Oh wait, this guy is back on television. People change. Hmm. People do change. To Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Harris. After a few sessions with Mark, I can preliminary report about his psychological status. Be advised that this is very preliminary. I recommend more sessions so that we can better ascertain what to do. It only took one conversation to conclude that Mark had a very strong connection with his brother Kenny. His dad left Mark deeply troubled and behaviorally traumatized. When he talks about the time they spent together, he only describes moments of joy and happiness. More than a friend and a play partner, Kenny was also Mark's role model. Since Kenny's dad, Mark is unable to describe a moment of joy. He feels alone and lacking guidance, a vacuum created by his brother's loss. Mark seems to have made new friends to make up for this. From the little time he talked about them, they mostly spend their time doing sports or playing pranks on other kids. I suspect some of these pranks might be a bit violent, although he didn't want to talk too much about the subject. I believe this is the way Mark found to cope with Kenny's loss. He's pro projecting that anger on other kids by making them suffer too. Mark is deeply troubled and in need of counseling and guidance. My recommendation is that we schedule two weekly appointments from now on. Sincerely, Dr. Volbeck. So, it started after his brother died, okay. That kinda... is sad. Annika! Where did she go now? And why is this guy feeling like a good guy? I don't know. Oh! Oh my god, why are these people so creepy? James and Marky here was a sweet boy before his brother died. It was only after that he became a heartless bully who loved to see others in pain. But the fact remains that is dead because of it. So now you decide. Should Mark Harris be forgiven? He'll pay for his crime. 
Shit. I don't have a choice. Uh, okay, he was bullying, but seriously. Should he burn in hell for doing that? I don't, I don't know. No, that's so wrong. I, I forgive you, son. Yes, he was a bully. He too was a bully. And we're back in the party. Oh, God, that was so oh, no. What the fuck? Seriously, if Boo played, he comes out. He oh, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. No. No fan of this. Oh no. I hate this. Oh no. Um, I'm trapped, guys. Fuck. Oh. Oh shit. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh fuck me. Shit, how can I open this shit? Oh you fucking Oh, oh fuck me. Police station. Huh. Maybe I can find help here. Ah oh, yes, the police will save everything. So the police station. Hmm. Maybe I can find help here. Maybe not. So light is good. Okay, this police station looks really fucked up. Hello, police? Oh, no. No, this doesn't look good. Blood everywhere. Love is not abusive. A house where anyone is unsafe is not a home. Don't drink and drive. Sorry will not bring back your friends back to life. Stand up to bullying. Stand up. Speak out. I wonder if these are clues about the choice we will have to make later on in the game. I wonder. Ah. Oh. There they are. Damn it. Uh, let's not go in there. Just yet. Anything here? The archives. This is a creepy place. Like the place where you can get killed. Holy shit. This 
Man, doesn't look good. Oh. What the hell? Oh, oh my fucking god, what the fuck? <laughs> 